All right, so you just got back from a camping trip or an overnight backpacking trip or maybe even a multi-day backpacking trip and you're wondering, how the heck am I going to get this sleeping bag clean? It won't fit in my washer. I don't want to go down to the laundromat to do it. Well, if you're wondering that, I'm going to show you how to do it real simple, pretty effective at home without a large washing machine. So stay tuned. All right, so I just got back from an overnight camping trip and I was talking to you guys about a way to wash your sleeping bag at home without a large washer or without going to the laundromat um, to wash it in one of their oversized washers. And basically, the way that I usually do it is really simple. All I'm going to be using is just an old sponge. You can find an old sponge or you can buy one. Um, we're also going to be using a bar of soap. This is just a simple um, ivory bar. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. But it's unscented and that's pretty much the reason why I'm choosing that soap. Um, you can use a liquid soap. You can use an antibacterial soap or even a scented soap. Um, it just all depends on what you want your sleeping bag to smell like. I prefer to just have it not smell like anything. Just some, you know, ivory soap. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to wash the, the layer that goes over the, the polyfill. Now this is a polyester sleeping bag, polyester filled. It's not, um, it's synthetic, it doesn't have down in it. If you have a down bag, the process is also gonna be pretty similar to this. You just wanna be careful about how much water you put into the down. Um, which is also why this method might work better for some people, because all we're doing again is just washing the top layer. We're not washing the inside, we're not washing the polyester fill. And if you keep it up, if you keep the maintenance and the clean um, cleanliness of your sleeping bag up, then this um, this method will work for a long time without having to wash the entire bag. So without further ado, let me set the camera back up and get things set up and I'll show you how I do it. All right, so we've got a bowl of soapy water here, a bowl of clean water right here. Basically what I'm gonna do is just apply uh, the soapy water first onto the surface. You wanna get that soap absorbed up into the sponge but you don't want the sponge to be too wet. I try and wring it out as much as possible. But I'm going to start off with the, the mummy head here. Just going to kind of uh, wipe it down with the soapy water. Now how aggressive you are with this, you know, it just depends on how dirty your bag is. Um, basically I'm just wiping the dirt off and the sweat that got into the top layer of the bag. Then you can kind of rinse it off. Um, then you're going to go with your rinse water, or your clean water, and you just kind of uh, rinse off the soap. Pretty simple. Um, you can, uh, after a while, you'll see you're gonna have to change out the water a few times while you're doing this. Um, if you don't wanna do that, you can just do a larger section of the bag at first, you know, just, soap up a larger section and then do your rinsing now once again this is a synthetic fill bag so um, i'm not too worried about getting it too wet if you're working with a down bag that might be a little bit different but just use a little more caution and make sure it dries out real good um, and that you rinse it real good but it's pretty simple i found this to work for me it might not be the best solution, but um, it works. It works to get the the campfire smell out, as well as the dirt and, like I said, the sweat from the bag. And it keeps it clean without ruining your stitching, which is important if you're going to use your sleeping bag for a long time. So it works pretty good. So that's pretty much the simple way that I do it. You just wash and rinse just like you were washing this dishes only we're washing our sleeping bag and then what you're going to do after you're done with your entire bag is you're going to hang it up outside or inside somewhere so that it will fully dry before you put it back into storage or you hang it up whatever you do with your sleeping bag all right so there you have it there's a real simple way to clean your sleeping bag when you get back from a camping or a backpacking trip I hope you found it useful or helpful and if you did Please subscribe, like, favorite, and all that fun stuff, and check out the other videos on the channel. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.